This is how I make thumbnails. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave from Chase Summit, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Nerve Run System. The Nerve Run System is basically smart insoles for your shoe that can give you all kinds of data from your running performance. Before we move on, if you find this video helpful or at least entertaining, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with all my future videos. I also wanna let you know that Nerve did send me this product to review on my channel. I did not pay for these with my own money. However, this is not a sponsored video. They did not pay me to say anything, and I'm allowed to give you my true unbiased, unfiltered opinion. I've already taken these out of the box. Let's take a closer look at how they work with your shoe. As you can see here, we've got my Ultra Torrent shoes here. These are the Torrent 4.5s I bought about a month ago. And guess what? They already have a hole in them. That's off topic though. We'll talk about that in another video. Uh, over here, you'll see this block hanging off the side of the shoe here. And this is the Nerve uh, module. So let's take it out of the shoe and I'll show you what the actual hardware looks like. First off, this outer part actually comes off and this is the brains of the operation here. And then the actual insole part actually clips onto the side of the shoe here. And then, ugh, I gotta pull my insole out. So first out comes my gross insole. Put that over here for now so you don't have to look at it. And then comes the nerve uh, platform here. I don't know what they call this part. I'll call it the insole for this video. So the top just has kind of an insole surface to it, just like any other insole. It's kind of leathery feeling. And then underneath is where all the tech is. You can see there are actually 16 pressure sensors along the bottom of the insole. And these give you all kinds of data on your performance while you're running. So this is all the hardware. And then the other half of this is the app on your phone. So the footbed and the little module combined weigh 22 grams. So they don't add a ton of weight to your shoe, which is great. Nerf says that they're designed to last about three pairs of shoes. I'm not sure how many miles that is. I probably depends on how rough you are when you run. The Nerf system can actually connect to a Garmin or an Apple watch along with the app on your phone. Uh, when you connect it to a Garmin watch, all you're gonna get is your distance data and cadence it doesn't actually give you any of the other metrics. It basically just works as like a foot pod. The nerve system is also dust and water resistant. It is not waterproof, so you can't like dunk your foot in a river. But if you're running in the rain, if you're sweating heavily, none of that stuff should affect this system. One unique thing about this is it's not just your foot data that you're getting from this. There's actually a GPS chip in the module here. So you can actually run phone and watch free if you want and still collect the GPS track of your run. What's cool is you can actually start and stop activities right from the module itself. You don't have to go into the phone app to start and stop a run every time. That's kind of cool and it might actually be an interesting option for people who don't wear watches, who don't like wearing watches, and also don't want to run with their phone. The Nerve System will also connect to Strava so you can sync your runs right from the Nerve System straight over to Strava and share and get kudos and do all that good stuff. And this is actually kind of important because I can't find a way to get a GPX file from the Nerve platform itself. The app doesn't have any way of exporting a GPX file from a run which kind of stinks because I like analyzing that data in third-party software after the fact. So the Nerve modules have up to five hours of battery life for running. And when you need to recharge, you click them back into this cradle here like this. And then there is actually a USB uh, port on the bottom here to charge them up. They do charge really fast. I don't think the batteries in these are very big, so you can charge them back up to 100% within a few minutes. The right module is kind of the master and the left side is kind of the slave. And the right module actually has the button to start and stop your runs on it. In terms of the metrics that you get out of the Nerve Run system, uh, you can view all of your data within the Nerve coach app on your phone. You get metrics like training load, which is similar to what you get from like a Garmin watch or a Chorus watch. It tries to give you an idea of how hard you're training, if you're overreaching, if you're under training, if you're detraining. It also gives you a running health score, which is actually probably the most interesting part of this product. It takes a combination of your training load, your cadence, your pronation, and your balance to tell you how your form is improving over time. Within the app, you can also view all of your past runs. You can see your cadence and all the data for each run individually. But like I said before, you can't export this data out of the Nerve app, like in a FIP file or a GPX file. At least I can't find a way to do it. So I hope they add that in the firmware update coming in the future. All right. So what are my first impressions of this product so far? I think it's pretty interesting. I think it's marketed a little strangely. The thing is, if you're a trail and road runner like me, you've got multiple pairs of shoes and to take these things in and out of your shoes routinely all the time is kind of a headache. But I could see these being interesting for primarily road runners. But again, if you have multiple pairs of road shoes, 
that you cycle through, then you'll have to be pulling these in and out of your shoes all the time. And if you don't use these on every run, the training load metric isn't gonna be accurate at all, so that won't be all that helpful. Now, my use case has been a little bit different. I could see these being a great tool to improve your form over time. Maybe you don't use them for every run, but if you use them like once or twice a month, you can get an idea of how your form's doing, and then you can make improvements based on the data that you get out of the app. Pronation and balance metric are based on all of these sensors on the back of the insole here, and I, I found this to actually be really interesting. It turns out I was actually pronating a bit, and I was able to correct that in my form when I'm running and see that represented in the metrics after the run. This could decrease my likelihood of getting injured over time. The other cool thing is you can actually see your foot strike in the app too. So you can see if you're a forefoot striker, midfoot, or a heel striker. And again, if you're mainly a heel striker and you've never realized that before, the app can tell you that your form's bad and you're heel striking, and then you can make a conscious effort to improve your form and try to land on your mid and forefoot over time. And that might actually reduce risk of injury and that could be huge. So for me, this is more of a form tool than a training tool. And hopefully this could reduce my likelihood of injuring myself and that would be great. <laughs> the one thing you do have to get used to is having this little brick on the outside of your shoe. My shoes are kind of low profile and black, so it's not that obvious. But if you have like a really bright colored shoe, this might stand out a little bit more and it's not that cool looking. <laughs> Nerve has told me that there's a huge firmware update coming out in a couple of weeks to add a bunch of new functionality to the system. So I'm excited to see what they have there. They've told me about some of the features and it seems like it'll make this a much more compelling product. So we'll have to wait and see what happens on September 21st to see what they roll out with the new firmware update. I can't tell you about any of the features right now, but if you're kind of on the fence about your interest in this product, uh, September 21st, they might roll out some new things that might interest you. Overall though, this is a pretty unique and interesting product from Nerve, and I'm interested to see how this matures over time. So this video is just a quick look at the Nerve Run system. It's not a deep dive or anything. I just want to show you guys my initial impressions of what this thing's all about, what the capabilities are, and what you get out of it. The Nerve Run system retails for $299 currently. Uh, I'll put links down in the description if you're interested in picking this up. And again, stay tuned for upcoming firmware updates from them. They're actively trying to make this a better product, and I really like that. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the Nerve system. Is this something you're interested in? What kind of metrics do you want to get out of it? Let me know down below. All right, folks, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. If you thought it was helpful or at least entertaining, give me a thumbs up down below and consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss more videos from me in the future. Time to run. I'll see you next time.